Okay, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking. That, that was lame. But today's video is a canning video. We are going to can some good old peaches. Um, first step, wash these babies. After you wash your peaches, get a big pot with some water. It doesn't have to be this big. It's just what I'm using. And you're going to start getting ready for the blanching process. Start boiling up that water. Now you see my clean, beautiful peaches. They're so pretty, aren't they? I love peaches. They just make me happy. Once the water's boiling, you're going to start dropping your peaches into the boiling water. Don't do all your peaches at once. Just do it a little at a time so you're not overwhelmed and trying to hurry and get them all out. Boil each batch for one minute. While they're doing that, hurry and get your ice water ready. I put mine in the sink. Now you're going to take them out after the one minute mark. And you're going to take them over there and dump them in your ice water. See my ice water? And I dumped them in there and I let them sit for about 30 seconds. And look, the skin just falls right off. And look at the beautiful peach. It's just so easy. It's so pretty. Now looky there. This whole process took me 10 minutes to do all those peaches. All right, next step. You're just going to start having those. Having. You want to start halving those peaches to pull out that seed cut them in any shape you want the bought blue book says to half them i honestly just cut them whichever way i need to to get the seed out it doesn't matter it really does not matter and if you see like any bad spots like horrible bad spots on the peaches just cut them away you see that that's not too good so i'm just gonna cut it off save the rest of the peach it'll do Once you've cut all your peaches and pulled all the little seeds out, you're going to get you some of the ball fruit fresh. You're going to get three tablespoons, put it in a bowl, and mix it up with two quarts. Yes, I use mason jars to measure sometimes. It's fine. Two quarts of water mixed with the three tablespoons of the fruit fresh. And you're going to pour it all over your peaches. Make sure they're submerged. It keeps the peaches from getting dark and icky and gross. And you're going to keep them in this solution until you're ready to can. While they're soaking, you're going to get your canner ready. Fill it up with water and add a splash of vinegar. And you're going to put the lid on to help it get to boiling. After you fill up your canner with water and you get it heating up, you need to wash your jars, like always. And then we're going to put them in the canner so they can heat up and sanitize as well. Put about an inch to two inches of water in each of the mason jars. Put them on the rack, put the lid on, and they will sanitize in there as it boils. It's time to prepare the simple syrup for your peaches. I like to do a light syrup. For light syrup, I will put the recipe in the description box below. But light, I like it a lot better because you can still taste the fresh peaches instead of just a lot of sugar. Light syrup it is for me. You're just going to whisk it up and you're going to bring it to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, that's when we're going to start canning up the peaches. While everything's getting hot, you're going to get everything ready. Get your lids and your rings ready get you a chopstick for debubbling get you a little bowl of vinegar and a rag to use in that vinegar you are also going to need your funnel and your ball grabber the jars are sanitized i'm just going to take them out and set them on that towel i have over there remember in a water bath canner you can pour that water back into there it's time to fill the mason jars. Sometimes those halves don't like to fit in the regular mouth jar, so I have to cut it to get it to fit. It's fine. So you're just going to stuff peaches into your jars the best way that you can. The Ball Blue Book says to do it all facing down. I can't because these things are very slippery. Look how pretty peaches are. I just love them. They make me happy to look at. Keep repeating this process until it's time to put the simple syrup in. Now, 
start ladling in that hot simple syrup half inch headspace debubble as you go so you can get all the liquid in there that you need remember to wipe the rims with white vinegar to ensure a good seal We're gonna process the pint jars of peaches for 25 minutes. It's 30 minutes for quarts. I do mine in pint size because Braden loves to just get a pint and eat it straight out of the jar as a snack. So it's best to do it this way so it's not like a whole quart at one time. The Bob Blue Book says to put the pit facing down and layer it. I don't worry about that because I think it's just for aesthetic reasons because when I put them in the jars, they fall how they will. They are slippery. They are super slippery and it is too much work to make them all face down. So I don't worry about it. I have did this for years and it's not made a difference at all. So I'm not even worried about that. Half inch head space. You need a half an inch head space, which is eee. You know what a half inch is. Half inch head space. <laughs> you did see that I drained some of the liquid out of the peaches. I have to do another batch of this. So I didn't drain all of that liquid out because that keeps the peaches from turning dark. So I needed that for these. <laughs> so. Also, everything in my home has a fine layer of stick on it, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn my timer on and I'll show you what they look like when we're done. That timer has went off. So remember to open the lid away from your face so you don't get steam in your face cause that hurts. <laughs> so you're just gonna take them out take that rack up and you're gonna slowly just take them out with the ball grabber set them on a towel and don't touch them for at least 12 to 24 hours that's it that's it guys that's how you can peaches super easy super simple um, some of you may do it differently than me, whatever your kitchen, your rules, but this is how I do it. And I have another batch to go, so I want to go ahead and get started with that. But do not be afraid to can your own food. It tastes 10,000 times better when you can your own peaches. It tastes more fresh. So good. So good. So I hope I inspired you guys to try canning of your own. Ooh, I forgot to put the lid back on that. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. Remember to stay kind and positive.